All right, so this time, let's go to the Alpha Quadra, kind of the other side of uh, Gamma, which I talked about before. So for the Alpha Quadra, we're dealing with the, uh, let's see, the ILE, which is the ENTP, the SEIs, which is the ISFP in Socionics, ESEs, which is the ESFJs, and the LII, which is the INTJ in Socionics, all right? What groups all these types together is that they are all playing with any SI, FE, and TI. Okay, those are the four major elements that all four of these types share. That's what they all like. Okay, in one order or another, that's what they're doing. So, some of the main features with this, this group. This is a group that is often described as being a lot more um social a lot more merry a lot more um almost kiddish is the way they're often described and the reason really for that is because they're a group that is often very homey very family oriented um very much enjoying of the basic creature comforts um of of your just conventional home life family gatherings family hangouts, group hangouts, they're a lot more open and accepting of um, larger groups of people. They like kind of doing things in, in larger groups, having more people around, inviting more people in. They enjoy that kind of stuff. Um, by contrast to something I would say with gamma, gamma's almost like don't really care very much for the group stuff. They almost struggle to involve themselves in, in group activities. Gammas don't really uh, do the family thing very much. Gammas can be very selective even about family, which family members I like, don't like. Um, maybe you're part of the same school and it's like a school group activity and we all wear the school shirt and we all showing school pride. Gammas don't usually like that kind of stuff they tend to resist that a lot instinctively alphas are kind of the other way around about all of that totally alphas are much more welcoming and open they're much more downplaying the flaws of other people and and kind of like letting everyone in you know as long as the vibe is good as long as the vibe is right everybody is together we're having a good time we're all getting along, enjoying the food, enjoying the ambiance, enjoying the environment. Alphas like that. That's what they're about. Respect the vibe. Okay. Um, and they like a relaxed vibe. Not a lot of competition, not a lot of hazing and messing with each other. Uh, people don't have to prove themselves to be part of this group. They're much more open and welcoming to everybody. Very inviting in that sense. It's really one of the things that makes the alphas uh, so good they're not interested in people proving themselves as i said meritocracy like people like you have to be good at stuff and company no no it's fine everybody's welcome everybody can come in everybody has a say at the table we're all equals here uh, so it's a very non-competitive group um because of the ne this combination, some sort of NE with FE, they're very open to ideas. They like creative ideas. They like to talk about unusual things. They like to play the what if game. Uh, what if what if this happened? Wouldn't it be cool if that? Do you think it's possible that maybe we don't, you know, whatever, know enough about this thing? And um, let's let's play some games and watch TV shows and, and just like. It might be silly and stupid stuff that has no practical point, but let's do it because it's just fun to do it together. We hang out and we're just enjoying each other's company, uh, vibing together, and we're, you know, fooling around. Things don't need a practical purpose to it. Things don't need to lead anywhere. That's a very, very big deal. Uh, and it really contrasts them from the gammas. And I'm bringing up gammas a lot because gammas have NTs and gammas have SFs, just like alphas have NTs and alphas have SFs. 
So you're often trying to distinguish um, between those two quadras. Okay, you might have somebody who's an SF in front of you. You can tell this is an SF, but now I'm trying to figure out: are they an ESFP or are they an ESFJ? Quadra values helps you figure that out. All right, so as I said they they tend to be much more relaxed, having more fun. Um, it's far more important that everyone vibes and gets together and has a good time. We bring everyone in and we're much more accepting. That's much more important than achieving anything. It's not the point. Now, having said all that, that doesn't mean that alphas don't ever achieve things. Yes, they do. Um, it's quite often that you're going to find many of these SFs, um, can achieve big things. They can get big titles and so on. It's commonly stereotyped that you run into a lot of SFJs, um, like a, like ESFJs. You're going to run into the ISFPs here, the SEIs. You run into a lot of them in medicine, for example. A lot of doctors, physician assistants, nurse practitioners, nurse, and etc. A lot of them. And it makes a lot of sense because the whole field is really about this image of taking care of others and being useful to your, your community. But you can find a lot of these same types doing um, business stuff where they, they perform various roles within business, high level business and so on. Um, the thing is, they're just going to look at this. They're going to see the achievement, the title, the accomplishment, um, as a less important and what's more important is the feeling of community. They're giving back to their community, taking care of their, of others or taking care of family. They're feeling productive to their family and to the overall community, um, that sort of thing. The NTs on the other hand are, are like classic. They give off professorial vibes. They look like the types a lot that would make excellent college professors, high-level university professors. In many cases, they, they are walking encyclopedias that know their stuff. They know everything on the topic. Um, love to talk about it and discuss and go wherever. And can work in an environment that's not terribly competitive. The, the environment doesn't change much. You know, you go into a classroom and it's your classroom. You do a lot of talking. Um, uh, you know, it's not very physical. It's not very competitive. It's not really about the salary per se. And it allows some of these types to engage in research that they really want to engage in. Right. Dig, dig into those little areas of research that interest them. You know, and get the funding to do that and so on. Uh so that's kind of the vibe that a lot of the NTTs in this group give off. Um, they love theory. They love to discuss theoretical stuff a lot, lots of theory, dive deep in the theory, deep in the background, deep in the history of stuff. It's a big difference right there between like alpha NTs and gamma NTs. Gamma NTs tend to be much more pragmatic they want to stay in a singular focus on what's important. What do I need to do right now? What do I not need to do? Just give me the important information and let's go. Let's do something. Um, I don't need the entire history of the universe in order to get to the piece that I need so I can get moving. Alpha Quadra NTs have a tendency of doing that where they dive so deep in a topic that they feel like they can't help themselves. They, they just enjoy all these aspects and the, and the full depth of theory that to a gamma NT, it looks like they're telling you the history of the universe before they finally get to the, the answering the question you asked. They need to tell you the history of everything possible. You know, I, it's quite annoying in my point of view. Um, but again, it makes them excellent as... Um, encyclopedias really I mean they just, they, whatever topics that interest them they're usually probably going to be very very well versed on it and again enjoy 
conversations going in any direction. They like, they like just random what ifs and, and possibilities and let's go down any little rabbit hole no matter what. Um, so it's a, um, uh, it's, it's a really good group in the sense that alphas are probably one of the best at being like sociable and fun and relaxed and nothing has to be serious, right? Th things don't have to lead to anything. Um, it's very welcoming and a warm type of group of people. Um, even the NTs that are usually not very good at the social stuff um, are still open to people. They like having a lot of people being part of things, um, feeling like they belong to things, doing fun little special events and, and um, the holidays and special atmosphere, like things like that. Like they enjoy that stuff. Um, um, they can really go along with the crowd, with the FE uh, mood. What's the happy mood that we're all in? Everybody can kind of get on board with that. So they're really good with that. They're good at being the caregivers and taking care of people. Um, this is all stuff they're good at. And sometimes this stuff gets downplayed or laughed at a little bit. And it should because it's an important piece of life. It's something that we all want that fun, relaxed, safe space to kind of go to. Um, where we can kind of be kids again and enjoy those little things of life. That's important stuff to have. And alphas are the best at that. So, um, yeah, I think it's kind of about it, really. Um, kind of contrast that with gammas. Again, these guys have a softer edge. Everything is keep it light, keep it fun, keep the vibe going. Unlike gammas that have a much more trying to accomplish things, trying to achieve things, and, and only want competent people who are getting things done. Gammas are, are much more uptight in that sense. Gammas have gammas need alphas at times because gammas just can't seem to like relax and take it easy and enjoy the little the little childish fun things in life. Whereas alphas do that very, very well. Um, it takes a lot usually for the alphas to kind of be more aggressive and upset about things. It's just not something they do. Um, gammas tend to be, again, much more interested in getting along. Like, I want to get along with people. I, I know of them. I know them well. And then I'm willing to go do stuff with them. Um, or we're doing something that has a productive purpose. And then we coordinate on that, we work on that, and then that's kind of the end of that connection. Alphas, no, alphas enjoy going out with whomever and like, we'll just get together and do whatever. Even if I don't know you that well, or I don't like you that much, or I don't know if I like you that much, um, let's just go do some stuff. Let's just go do things and have some fun with it. Enjoy the vibe and the energy and, and go with it. It's, it's again, it's a lot more open, open and welcoming to whomever let's let's go out and like and engage in something and do something very alpha like kind of stuff um, very community oriented um and much more much more social in an outward way you could see that alphas are much more willing to engage with people much more social much more visible types i feel like deltas tend to be less visible Deltas tend to seem to like segregate themselves quietly, you know, they don't, whereas alphas are much more engaging with everybody. So I think that's about it. Um, yeah, let me know what y'all think of that. Um, how will you relate to this? Or if you're another type that looks at alphas and you kind of see the same things, something different. Um, again, I, I like to hear the feedback of different types discussing their views on different types and so on. Um, so we kind of all learn from each other, okay? All right, so until the next one.